very fine line between spreading awareness to people and having debates with individuals. I would never do those debates, just me personally. Um, I've talked to many different individuals from online to on the street, and as soon as it starts to turn into a debate, if it starts to get in the, anywhere in that area, I gracefully bow out of that conversation. Before I do, I ask them, so you're in support of animal abuse? Some have said yes, and then they'll give those excuses. Not gonna list them. I'll tell them to have a good day, and then I, I move on to the, to the next person. I'm not gonna sit and debate ethics. I would never do that with anything else, with any other ethical stance, I would never do that. I'm never gonna sit and debate with someone why it's wrong to be racist. Every night my lady comes home, I'm not slapping her up. I'm not gonna sit and debate with someone why I don't do that, or why I don't touch children. Same thing with animal abuse. That's what veganism is. It is an ethical stance. I'm not going to debate with someone why it's wrong to decapitate animals, why it's wrong to use them, exploit them, gut them, skin them, dismember them, use them for entertainment, take their babies away, hunt them, blood, gut, screaming fear. I'm not, I'm not going to sit and debate with someone about that. And if people have compiled a list of excuses to justify those things, they're more in line with the people who dress in all white, they get their meds from the small white cup. That's their crew. I don't want them anywhere in my vicinity. I don't want to have a conversation with them, let alone a debate. But that's just me.